three most powerful intentions for 2024. Hello, beautiful souls. I'm Dr. Meghna Dixit, author of the book You Matter, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to our channel. Here we explore the fascinating realms of the mind and brain, share the secrets to success, help you heal your past and prepare for a brilliant future. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And to all our returning viewers, a heartfelt welcome. If you are ready to dive into the incredible world of brain potential, type dive in in the chat box right now. So today, I'm going to share with you my three most powerful intentions for 2024. I'm sure you watched my video on the vision board that I had done and you have already started creating your plans and vision for this year. Let me share with you how to set that intention to materialize your vision board in the year itself. The new year has begun and we are busy making our goals list. We are supercharged and energized. Our new goals, yes. Now here's the catch. The initial weeks of the new year go off well. We are diligently working towards our goals. Then there's that one function in the family. There's that one urgent project to work upon. We tell ourselves it's just this week. I will definitely get back on the track to my goals list. One week gets into two weeks and then three weeks and we have here forgotten what the goals are and simply feeling guilty all the time of not doing that exercise, not finishing that project, not looking in the right way, not practicing self-care. Every year the same story repeats, isn't it? We find it more and more difficult to get back to our goal and the routine. Other more important things always eat up our time, our attention and our space. And our goals that we had set up in the beginning of the year are forgotten. For most of us, this has been the cycle. When the new year begins, we are very enthusiastic in making the goals. And as the months go by, the enthusiasm wanes off. Have you experienced this? I have for years and years and years. Every year, I used to make my goals. With my fitness goal or goal for earning that income, I would be very eager, but slowly that enthusiasm would pander off. This has happened with me year after year after year. Till the time I decided to do something different. And I did. So today, I am going to share with you those three most powerful intentions that will help you to be consistent in you achieving your goals. But before I begin to share with you the three most powerful intentions for 2024, I want to share with you the key ingredients that you have to keep in mind for setting any intention. So the first one is the first ingredient is focus. When you're setting your intention, you have to focus on it and make sure it resonates with you so you can feel its power. So write in the comment section, focus. The second key ingredient is connect. Connect with your why. Why do you want to set this intention? Why you didn't set this intention before? Why is this important for you right now? That why is extremely important. What drives you to achieve your goals? Type why in the comment section. And if you have found your why, let me know in the comment section and let other people get inspired by your why. My why when I started in the beginning was my son. I wanted to give him the best life and most importantly, I wanted to become a good role model as a parent to him. So what is your why? You achieving your goals, who are going to get impacted by those goals? Who are you going to become once you achieve your goals? Third, the key ingredient is leave your fears behind. Inhale deeply and exhale all your fears and doubts holding you back. The most critical part about manifesting your goals is healing yourself. Healing yourself from all that you have experienced in the past and that does not serve you anymore. Fourth, becoming accountable. This is the fourth key ingredient. Set up your own accountability system. I always say you will be as good as people you are associated with. People who influence you, people whom you focus on and listen to the most. And that's why in all our programs, we emphasize on the buddy system. Setting your intentions is great, but the more you do it, the more driven and focused your life will be. 
So the next time you want to set an intention, apply these key ingredients. And now I'm going to share with you my three most powerful intentions for 2024. First one, I'm choosing to love myself unconditionally with all my goods, all my flaws, everything. This for me is the most powerful intention because I've been raised in a very, very critical environment. And there's a lot of, you know, that voice still comes back. Every time I see something not right in me or perfect in me, immediately that voice comes up and criticizes me. Nobody outside is criticizing me. Everybody thinks that I'm great. But I do have that little voice inside me. So this year, I'm going to set an intention or rather I've set an intention to embrace my flaws and accept myself wholeheartedly. Over the course of my life events, I've experienced many moments where I have lost faith in myself. I've judged and criticized myself relentlessly. As a mother, as a business owner, I used to consider myself as a failure. There was that little voice in my head that used to constantly tell me how I was not good enough. And this had a spiral effect. The more that little voice would be judging me, the more I would be feeling disappointed with myself. Till the time I saw the adverse effect it was having not only on me, but also my child. That was the day that I decided to take charge. I put myself through rigorous training, learning and understanding how our brain functions and doing what needs to be done. I have understood the importance of loving myself unconditionally. What does this mean? Let me explain. Say one of your New Year's goal is to lose that excess weight. Now you are all set. You have enrolled yourself into a fitness class. You've gone to the nutritionist and got that diet plan. You're following this diligently. Now the month end is your bestie's birthday. You have to go. And you eat at the party. You have fun. You have enjoyed. The next day that voice in your head says, See, I told you, you can never do anything right. I knew it. In this case, practicing self-love means you telling yourself, Yes, I did binge and I partied, but I did enjoy and I celebrated. I ought to have been mindful. But that does not make me a bad person. That party was yesterday and today is a new day. I start on my regime again. And one of the main reasons why we falter from our goal path is a little setbacks makes us feel we are bad and good for nothing. It's that voice in the head, the action you took. Parting relentlessly was not a correct action. So you have to only condemn the action and not yourself. Don't attach yourself with that action that you took. So this year's most powerful intention is, I'm choosing to love myself unconditionally. If this resonates, type in the comments, I'm choosing to love myself unconditionally. Second intention, I'm choosing to be open to new possibilities. Oh, this was such a hard thing for me earlier. I used to be so rigid about everything. I used to be so fearful about everything. Any new opportunity would come, my first voice would be, no, I can't take it because I can't perform it. I'm not yet ready. This is the second powerful intention for me in 2024. It was my father's ambition and I became an Ayurvedic doctor. I had a set idea of my modus operandi. I knew as a doctor how to run my practice. I had improvised on my consultation points and was already implementing the aspect of body, mind and soul. But I was coming from the space of already has been. You understand what I mean? 2020, the car toppled. Pandemic brought in the disruption. Had I not been open to new possibilities of being and working, I would not have been here today positively, impacting thousands of lives through my work. My vision expanded. I now aspire to touch a billion lives through my work. This is the power of this second intention. Choosing to be open to new possibilities makes you more adaptable to change, makes you a lifelong learner. When you limit yourself, you are stopping yourself from connecting to new ideas and new people. This requires a lot of work, but it's all worth it. What is it that makes us refrain from being open to new possibilities? It is our past experiences. We are most of the time wrapped up in past experiences and expectations from future. This disallows us from being in the present. One of the best way to being in the present is to keep focusing on my path, on my breath. I do it maybe 20 times in a day consciously. 
In between my work or me having fun, I often bring my attention to my breath for a few seconds. In that moment, I'm aware. This awareness opens our minds. So being more and more aware leads us to being open to new possibilities. If this resonates with you, type in comments, I'm choosing to be open to new possibilities. My third intention, I'm choosing to take action in spite of fear. My mentor would always say this, fear is natural and courage is optional. I experienced this during the pandemic. As I had mentioned earlier, 2020, my offline business got disrupted. I had never done an online workshop before. It was a new experience. Of course, I was fearful. I had too many what ifs. What if I am unable to speak? What if I don't look good? What if I don't get a single audience? What if nobody likes what I want to see? Here is what I did. I acknowledged the fear and continued to take action. The whole of 2020, I continued to practice conducting online workshops. Initially, I failed, but I continued to take the daily action in spite of fear. And as they say, rest is history. Fear comes from our reptilian brain. Our reptilian brain was formed millions of years back. And those many years ago, man was at the bottom of the food chain. He most feared that he would be eaten up by the tiger and he would not get the next food. This fear is primal. It is attached to our survival instinct. Every change that we experience takes us back to this fear. This fear gets triggered. Our goals are a change from the normal that we are used to and hence the fear. Key is to take that small action daily in spite of the fear. And also knowing that not every time, every action is going to be successful. That is a fact. Do you know a tiger in the jungle attacks a deer 100 times and out of this 100 times, just once he gets success. That's who we are. One of the actions could be simply just writing your goals daily in your goal journal and reading them aloud. But doing this daily is important. If this resonates, type in the comments, I'm choosing to take action in spite of fear. Set these three powerful intentions for 2024 and you will see remarkable changes coming your way. If this resonates, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon and definitely like and share it with your friends and family. Let them also get the benefits of setting powerful intentions. And if you want more help from me, there are two links in the caption. First is to register for my live seminar to train your brain to achieve all your goals. And because you stayed with me till the end, you're going to get this masterclass completely complimentary. Second, you can purchase my book, You Matter, through the link and start your personal growth journey with me. Until then, see you next time.